Cheers everyone, Warmink here, bringing to you today a brief rundown of the Spellforce 3 Fallen God Community Content Patch. Let's check it out. Like I already mentioned at the start, this content pack has been made by the community, the user in Neox to be precise, and as such isn't official content for the game, but it brings some much needed map diversity and fun game modes to it. The bulk of the patch consists of player vs player, or PvP maps, which you can see in the background of the video right now. All these maps cover a wide range of themes, player numbers, and allow for different playstyles, so no matter how you like to play or what race you prefer, there's something in it for everyone. Keep in mind, however, that these maps sadly can't be used for ranked play, as they count as mods and Fallen God doesn't allow active mods while trying to climb up the ladder. But if PvP isn't your cup of tea, the map pack also includes two updated Horde mode maps. For those who aren't familiar with Horde mode, it's a type of map where you have to defend a certain point or individual against increasingly difficult waves of enemies. These can be played alone, with bots as companions, or, that's my preferred way, with other players as long as they have the right map installed. The pack includes the map Udat and Old Whisper, which are RPG and RTS based respectively. On the map Udat you get to only use your heroes, while on Old Whisper you are given the liberty of building up your own base camp and army. One thing to keep in mind when playing these maps is that you need to set the lobby up as shown on this image, or else they won't work as intended. Besides new maps, the patch also includes various quality of life changes, such as a third person mode, a level cap increase for the campaign, a no special effects mode, and many other things. All of these are included in an installer, which allows you to specifically select which parts of the patch you'd like to install, so if you only want certain maps, or let's say only the third person mode, you can choose to only install those and leave the rest out. The patch is available for download on both Nexus Mods and ModDB. The links to both will be in the description below. And before I end the video, just a quick mention that we're close to 1000 subscribers and the Q&A video, so if you enjoyed the content here, please consider becoming one of them as it helps me out a lot. But with that said, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!